Hello, people. Um, if we shine a laser beam through two very narrow slits, what do you expect to see on the other side? Do you expect to see two very narrow fringes? Surprise! What we see on the other side is actually a series of regularly spaced um, bright and dark fringes. So what's happening? Actually, the double slit interference pattern is uh, conceptually quite easy to explain. So each of the slits, uh, when they're lighted up by the laser beam, they act like two wave sources. So we have light wave uh, departing from each slit, and they will superpose at every point along the screen. So depending on the path difference, the resultant light wave will have different amplitude and intensity. For example, we have a bright fringe here because this point is equidistant from the two slits. The light waves from the two slits travel the same distance to superpose here. So we get constructive interference and we get a bright fringe here. Then what about um, this point here? The light wave from the left slit has to travel a longer distance compared to the light wave from the right slit. So this path must be longer than this path by exactly half a lambda. That's why we get a destructive interference here and we get a dark fringe. So we are adding light to light and we get darkness. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So the double slit is basically light waves doing what the water waves are doing in the ripper tank experiment with a few uh, key differences. In the ripper tank, you can see the interference pattern formed here. All the nodal lines and anti-nodal lines. Uh, not for the double slit, all right? For the double slit, you have to place a screen here and you'll see the interference pattern only on the screen. You don't see bright and dark fringes in, in, in the space between the slits and the screen. You know the light has to enter your eyes before you see it. So the, the light is uh, just traveling from the slits towards the screen. So nothing is entering your eyes from here. That's why you see nothing. But if you place a screen here, the light after striking the screen, it will be reflected by the screen and that, that's how we see the bright and dark fringes. So that's one difference. Now, uh, a second difference. For the ripper tank, you can see the water level rising and falling, right? At a few hertz. Um, the frequency of visible light is uh, about 10 to the power of 14 or 15 hertz. So our eyes are not able to detect such high frequency fluctuations. All we see is the intensity. So if the light wave has a large amplitude, we see it as a bright light. If it has a low amplitude, we see it as a dark fringe. Our eyes are not built to see the fluctuations in the electric field. We, we just sense the, its energy, the intensity. Okay, the third uh, key difference is the dimensions. This diagram is uh, not drawn to scale. Not to scale. The distance between uh, the double slit is typically um, about 0.1 mm. And typically, you will not place a screen like 0.1 mm away, right, from the slits. Uh, this is typically, well, easily, easily one meter, right? So the screen distance is typically thousands, if not tens of thousands of times uh, larger than the slit separation. This uh, extreme geometry actually uh, makes the calculations for the double slit much easier. And I'll elaborate on that in the next video. I'll be talking about D sine theta. Okay, see you again. Ta-ta.